Hey, it's Kidman. Ammo everywhere. Interesting. Kidman! Get me out of this thing! Wait a minute. It's another trap. Look. <laughs> it's much more loud. Oof. He's fine. Joseph, are you all right? He's fine. Yeah, I'm fine. Everybody's fine. You better get down here. All right. So oh, this is some shit right here. We've got a whole army of deadites to hold shit. off, Let's hurry it and we've got a very wonky gun that doesn't really shoot right. But that's okay. You can see just how awful the aim is, but you can level that up. Well, I mean, we can't level it up because we're not allowed to use such things, but we could. Oh, hello. Yeah, that's going to sting. It is getting tough. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. ooh. Fry your ass. How are we doing? Oh, hello. He's got a hard on for me. How many of these things are there? Hello. I have no idea how many there are. But I guess we're gonna find out. Let's chuck down some kind of med kit. Oh. Oh. <laughs> um, Joseph died. I forgot that he could die. That was rather sucky. Alright. Fine. Yeah, this bit is some, we need some shit. Luckily, I think we can... Somehow... We can skip. There we go. We can skip the cutscenes after we've Are watched the right? first six minutes yeah, of them. So that's good. You get down here. I'm on the way. On. I'm coming. Okay, so... Shit, let's hurry it up. There is no really best way of dealing with these guys. Because they are just absolute bullet sponges. Unfortunately, come this way, both of you. No? Okay. Come on, walk this way. No? More interested in my friend over there? That's fine. Here they come. Here they come, Here they come indeed. Seb, you just fucked that right up. I hope you... Oh, God. That's gonna hurt. Well, these things are I can do you one back. Well, I'll give you a tip. We're nowhere near done yet. And I do mean nowhere near done yet. This bit really goes on. Luckily, as much as you might think we have a time limit here, we don't. At least, not yet. Alright. How are we doing? Let's get some health. Unfortunately, healing uh, takes a while. Yeah, we're alright. We're okay. We're okay. I actually think now we've just hit a checkpoint, if memory serves. Right, let's get some guns loaded up. Oh, hi, friend. Probably don't want you running towards me. With all that dynamite and all. Now, how's the shotgun going? Shotgun is pretty empty. But luckily, there are shells. And pretty much everything that we need is here. 
Now we can't, if we've got a weapon in our hand, like a axe for instance. Ooh, didn't even see that. Didn't even, uh, didn't even see that. <laughs> Alright, let's, yeah, I'm fine, I'm peachy. Thanks for asking. In fact, never been better. make sure we're healed up as we possibly can be. Really? Give me your axe. Me and my axe are going to go for a walk. Give me your axe. Me and your axe are going to go for a walk. Alright, not bad. Oh, hi. Definitely don't want none of your business. Is that? Is that it? Don't be ridiculous, Seb. Is that it? What do you think this is? More of them on the move. This isn't a game, don't Seb. A don't be a hero. Oh, hi. Oh, hello. Now you, sir, need to go. I think with that, we're just about there. Really? Come on, Seb. Or Jacob, I should say. My god. Are you sure you're firing real bullets? Because I'm starting to question. Alright, cool. Who has? Oh, I thought that was all of them. Come on. Ooh. 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 <laughs> oh, that was good. Turn around just to see a... Just to see a git. That's okay. We do get a checkpoint, so... It's not that bad. It's bad enough but not that bad. I can't actually remember where this fight stops. I think... Oh, nice. I think... Jacob actually calls it when the fight's over. Right, one. One. Oh! gentleman's got some TNT. Can't be having that now, can we? Watch out. They've got dynamite. Yeah, trouble is, I've got an axe. And the axe ain't that great for enemies with TNT. Ooh. Is that... Is that it? We're getting there, buddy. We're getting there. something nearby. Ooh. More of them on the move. Don't be a hero. Back off. Well, that worked spectacularly oh, badly. Right. Got lucky with that one. Oh god, we're empty. <laughs> that could have been bad. Oof. All right, you need to fall over. Rather that didn't happen. But you know, we all have regrets. Come on. Get on that. Get down. Nope, he's not getting down. Alright. <laughs> yeah, we are kind of out of ammo here. Kind of. No? Run. We cannot take a hit from anything right about now. But we've got two shotgun shells. So. There's that. 
Let's get some hang on bullets. Yeah, we know. Oh, hey, friend. That TNT could go off any time. There we go. Got lucky there. Oof. Right, Kidman is probably fine. Damn it. That was close. Yeah. Well, it was close in this reality. In the other realities, well... You'd better come have a look at this. It was even closer. In fact, some may say we went too far. Okay, let's gather up everything we can. You're right there, Kidman. Just keep treading water. You're doing great. Good for the legs, you know. Um, give me some stuff. Give me some stuff. Ooh, don't mind if I help myself to some matches, I suppose. Better than kicking the balls, I guess. So, let's take stock of what we got. The shotgun is empty. The agony is pretty low. Not as much ammo there as I was hoping, to be honest. But that's fine. We've got plenty. I can't get the thing open. I think there's another control panel around here. We're running out of time. Well, we these cables go? don't want to run out of time now, do we? I'll go. Tell me what to do. Oh, let's go. Now we have the Kidman Drownometer. But, you know, it's not that difficult. We don't have to go that far. Hey, buddy. Enjoy. Careful now. Don't want to stand on his face. Or we horribly die. Now we've got a lot of cells here, but we don't have to worry about any of them. Apart from that one. There's a key in it. Oh, hi. That was sneaky. <laughs> totally forgot about you. We Kidman's forgot. Yeah, we, we know Kidman's in trouble. We were uh, we were there when it kind of happened. Unless you've forgotten. Look at the control panel. All right. Got the same kind of dials, right? Yeah, a top one and a bottom one. Set the upper dial to 22 and the lower dial to five. We can do that. Nice and simple. That was rather bad, wasn't it? Well, no matter. All these guys disappeared. They've gone awfully quiet. Ah. They didn't just... Okay, I guess they did. Just... Yeah, they've all disappeared. Ah. Alright. Well, it's going to save us some ammo. I guess. What else we got in here? Anything good? So anything in your toilet? Nope. Ah, some bullets there though. We actually do need bullets. Ooh, careful now. Don't know why some guy was locked up with three bullets in his cell. I suppose it's best to be prepared. I could understand being locked up with one bullet and a crudely made pipe gun just in case it all gets a little bit too much. Being locked in here probably would get too much pretty quickly. Okay. I could have sworn there was like more ammo and Hang stuff on, around here. Coming. But I guess not. 
Huh. All right. Definitely came out of here with more ammo. And, but then I suppose, hang on. Last time we did this, we had much deeper pockets, didn't we? Much deeper Where'd pockets. Uh, ah. I guess they went this way. Over yonder. Oh, lovely. Oh, great. No shotgun shells. No shotgun shells is never a good time. Ah, we're out. <laughs> that was a waste. Ugh. And he's getting up again. And I didn't mean to do that. You know what, sunshine? Um, it's on my face. <laughs> That's not what I wanted to do. But it worked, in a manner of speaking, I guess. Right. Uh, let's have a look down here. Now, being on that sort of health, our health will slowly recharge. Why do I get the feeling there's like a map fragment here somewhere? Uh, maybe behind these boxes. Oh, there's shotgun shells. Shotgun shells are good. Right, now we've healed up to a... Eh, maybe there isn't. Now we've healed up to a certain way, I guess. We'll pop some uh, medicinal goodness. There's really... Well, we'll hold on to one, I suppose. Ah. Shotgun is all we have. For now. Yep. Joseph! Joseph! Don't go! Or something. Uh... Yeah. Oh! We're gonna need some bullets. Pretty badly. Now, you there? this game is certainly a bit stingier with the old ammo than I remember, but I think, like I said, well, it's not stingy of ammo, that's the thing. Um, we're not supposed to be playing the game like this, though. So, you know, we're supposed to have all the ammo reserves and stuff, and you can obviously carry way more ammo. Um, you know, and it goes a lot further. You're not leaving as much for the roaches, which is painful. Can we climb out of here somehow? There we go. Alright, guys. Oh, yep. They definitely sound like they're up ahead. This must be extremely vigilant. Ooh. Get rid of you. Don't really want to deal with you. Now, we do have a melee attack, but as far as I can remember, the melee doesn't actually kill enemies. Ooh, hello. It just knocks them back. Um, what happened? I have absolutely no idea what happened then. Oh, did Joseph die maybe? But we had like killed most of the enemies. So, not really sure about that. Ah, right, yeah. There is more enemies here. Oh, big guy. Kind of want him to fall to the ground. Ah. Beautiful. Kill the big guy. Kill the big guy. The big guys have a lot more health. Alright, well, we couldn't. <laughs> yeah, this is a problem. Are you guys alright? We're alright. Just a few bumps, we're fine. Good. I'm glad you've got just a few bumps. 
It'd be awkward if you had a few more bumps. Got to make sure all those bumps are in the right place. Joseph can make his bumps go back in. All right, are we good? In fact, might be worth popping that last syringe. Cool, we've got another one back at base. And we've got plenty of ammo back at base as well, so that's not an issue. If you hadn't come along. Yeah, you'd be dead, because apparently the guy with an infinite handgun can't handle, like, a couple of enemies. For reasons. It looks like the door's locked from the other side. Sebastian, maybe we can lift this enough for Kidman to go under and open it from the other side. We're counting on you. All right. I like the way they talk to Kidman like she literally is a child. Even though she's supposed to be like some super FBI agent or detective. Is she a police agent? I can't remember what she's actually supposed to be. But she's not a child anyway. Let's get going. Oh, she's a junior detective, isn't she? That's right. But that doesn't mean she's literally a child straight out of school. Alright, bit close, Kidman. Personal space, remember that. I'm glad you're both all right. It's odd, though. Why would they catch you instead of just killing you? Maybe he didn't see me as a threat. He? Well, oh. now we know who that is. That's our old pal, Laura. Old pal Laura, back to play. Yep, certainly is another one of those doors. But before we go into those doors, let's see what we can grab from the environment. Because it will take a small amount of ammo from our home base because we don't want to plunder everything from the home base when we can just find it in the environment ah oh, I thought it was like, yes Oop. right now does that yep that guy's going to wake up come on you he's going to pull the switch oi oi there we go. That'll do. No, nope. burn him, burn him. There we go. <laughs> just see him jump for joy in his realization that he's just been released from this tormented death. Well, it sounds like someone's having a wonderful time through there. I'm sure we're going to go visit them momentarily. Hey, we've got some shotgun shells. Which is good, because we actually need some shotgun shells. But, but not what you're thinking. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Really? There we go. Ooh, freeze bolts. Okay. <clears throat> Actually sounds like quite a fun weapon. I don't really remember the freeze bolts that much. But then, they uh, I suppose all of the kind of special freeze weapons are a little bit pants to start with. They all get significantly better as you start leveling them up. You know, as the developer intended. Now let's go plunder the save room. Yeah, we're clocking on quite fast, so this would be a two-part video. That's fine. All right. Wedding invitation. Detective Sebastian Castellanos and 
Detective Maya Hansen joyfully request the pleasure of your company at the wedding celebration Saturday, the 17th of December 2005, at half past 12 at the Veranda Hotel, Crimson City. Reception to follow. Yes, wedding gift of that year would have been a Xbox 360. In fact, would it have been out? Yeah, November. Yeah. Or a pre order. Sebastian? Have you forgotten something? And you could actually have played um, this on the Xbox 360. There was a version of it. Apparently, it's gash <laughs> which you know there's a surprise maybe we should do the xbox 360 version one day and i do mean one day because one playthrough of this is enough for a long time but the 360 version from what ugh, from what i can understand is actually quite different okay Oh god, 16 handgun bullets. And four shotgun shells. Ugh. Complete gash. And we got no health, so I guess we'll take that one. Okay. Now, we're just about to get another key anyway. Wait, did we get... Oh no. Come on, Sebastian. Yeah, this uh, the stamina mechanic in this game is just pathetic. I know everyone was defending it at the time. I can't remember. I probably defended it at the time. But it's just awful. It really is. Everyone's like, yeah, but it's survival horror. Yeah, but the game's still supposed to be fun, guys. Uh, missing uh, parishioner found in mental hospital. These claims are absolutely outrageous. Parishioner Fern Fernando Cabrera, missing for eight years, found committed in Beacon Mental Hospital. Claims Parish was a cult. How interesting. And there he is, Fernando Cabrera. Psychiatric patient escaped from Beacon Mental Hospital. He is seriously ill and need of constant supervision. Hmm, okay. You run a tight ship around here, um, nurse. No, 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 no. Don't run out. Don't run out. See, the thing is, like, if the stamina bar ran out and you just slowed down, it would suck, but... Ah, there it is. That's what I was thinking of. It would suck, but, you know, it is what it is. But the idea that it not only slows you down, but it... It like, actually causes you to stop for a considerable amount of time. That's anus. Come on. I could hear you. We all could. Can we burn these bodies? We did have the option of burning these bodies. It's gone now. That made a mess. Ooh. Nothing left but bits. She kind of looks like a weird mannequin. There we go. She's still not dead. And don't have the option to burn. Do we not have any matches? That could be it. Yeah, maybe we're out of matches. I do love the way the shell casings literally fly out of the gun the way they do. It's terrifying. You can catch one of those in the eye quite easy. Oh. There we go. Now we've got some matches. That's why we couldn't burn things. Got ya. That makes sense. Overkill, don't you think? Could have just... I guess. Moved the mannequin. Didn't have to destroy it in such a spectacular display. Alright. Now it's a good thing we got matches because we need them here. 
Come on. Ah, there she is. It's our old friend, one hit Laura. Right, we kind of don't want to get hit by the fire. But it's kind of hard not to get hit by the fire. Now, if you could kindly piss off. Thank you. Fire seems to work. Yeah, works on us as well, apparently. All right, now, before we go chasing after our next victim, we do need to loot this room. Ooh, thank you. And we need to have a look in here, because there is a crow. And this crow... ...has a key. Now, obviously, you can get that crow with the handgun, but, uh, yeah, uh, good luck with that. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Right. Now, we have an actual boss to deal with this time. Several ways of dealing with this boss. Mainly using large quantities of fire and incinerators, or, or we can um, just shoot her to death. But shooting her to death is going to be a challenge. Okay, she should have actually take, taken burning damage there. Alright, Laura, calm down. Calm down. Let's not be being all hasty. Alright, now we're going to climb up. <laughs> oh. Oh dear. Laura's not as dumb as I gave her credit for, I guess. Or should I say, um, she's smarter than I gave her credit for. But that's fine. We've got plenty of options. Too many options, if anything. Let's wait for her to spawn up. There we go. Another one. Now, I'm not a big fan of actually using the incinerators because I find them a little bit unreliable. There we go. Come on, Laura. Oi. This way. This way. That's it. Although, obviously, shooting her repeatedly does make her a little on the cranky side. But I can understand that. I mean, it's definitely going to make you cranky. If somebody is continuously setting you on fire. Oh, there she is. She's down there. Come on, Laura. Right this way. Oh, not quite that way. Oh, run. No, she's got us. Yep. And that is the thing. She is just a one-hit kill. She's one of those uh, really well-designed, fun bosses. And every, I think you have to start again every time you kill her. I think. Yes, you do. Right, once more we're feeling. Let's see if we can get her to spawn. And we're out of stamina. So, we're off to a fantastic start here. Burn her once. Let's see if we can get her to spawn in one of these. We can. Oh no, we're out of stamina. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yep. That's so bad. Just the stamina system. Oh, it's so frustrating. 
<sighs> so what we're going to do we're going to try and drop her in that furnace I suppose the good thing about having that body I think she always uh, spawns at the closest body to you uh, if I remember correctly so we can actually manipulate it a little bit by coming down here grabbing that yeah mum where are you here we go. That works. Not sure why she spawned in that body. Right, as soon as she starts spawning, gonna space. There we go. Beautiful. Now let's see if she was gonna spawn there. She is. Come on. Right, that didn't burn her, unfortunately. Let's keep moving. Right, next, what have we got? I actually think we ran past another torch. Yeah. Eat that, you ugly bitch. Right, is she spawning some she is spawning somewhere down there? There we go. <laughs> right, let's see if we can't trigger her to spawn here. Wait for her to come out. Okay, that didn't exactly work. Come on, Laura. Yeah man. There we go. Oh, she's dying. Cool. Yeah, I, I don't know. I think the idea behind that boss isn't bad. It's just one hit bosses and one hit enemies in general. Yeah, I don't have time for that. If you do, that's great. Uh, can you stop auto-locking onto the body and break? Thank you. Okay, right, let's grab some stuff. Yeah, this game, man, I mean, it's got, like, bits of fun to it. But this stamina thing as well, oh, my God. It's so bad. Right, all the fires are out now. So, let's get this chapter wrapped up. So, Laura, the big thing with Laura, anyway, she's Ruvik's sister. The one that, well, the sister that burnt to death. I don't really care about spoilers. This game is nearly a decade old now. Um, take that shotgun shell. But we're not quite done yet. Oh, don't mind if we have some more matches. Excellent. Go home. Go home. Subject's case history cites developmental delays. Indicates issues with communication, social cognition, repetitive behaviors, signs of synesthesia reported. Genealogy suggests increased susceptibility to external stimuli, pattern adaptiveness. Could you be what I've been searching for all these years? Maybe he is. Knows. Unbelievable. There can be no mistake. This one is compatible. Yes, compatible with your magical brain machine. Yeah. Oh, hello. That's something you don't see every day. In the hell? Hello, guys. How's it going? Well, 
Allow me to release you from your torment, if that is possible. One plug at a time, I guess. Or maybe two plugs at a time. Either or. Hello. Oh, you're stuck. How very unfortunate for you. And that is chapter five clear. And this video was one hour, 10 minutes. Damn, so we're gonna have to cut this one in half. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, in, not a bad chapter, but this is where this game starts being like kind of pretentious. Um, it's, yeah, it's, it's fine. I mean, the, the general gameplay is okay, but you start really noticing like how clunky it is and just how Sebastian just doesn't move good <laughs> is the only way I can really say it like he just he moves like a pregnant fridge and just I don't know man it feels very much like a first attempt and it was um It's just nonsensical mess. And I suppose for that, it's fine. But I think this is one that's definitely going to be kind of more forgotten in the survival horror gaming history. Um, yeah, it's just been s surpassed by pretty much everything that's come after it. Anyway, guys, I'm just rambling now. Thank you very much for watching. When we come back, well, on to chapter six. So, we're, a, we're already a third of the way through the game, actually. It's pretty quick. For me. <laughs> anyway, guys. Till next time.